Infinity War just dropped an absolute bombshell, and we're getting a bunch of content within the Season 1 Reloaded update. We're getting new maps, DLC weapons, operators, and much more. So with that being said, like on this video is going to be 500 likes, and if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all news as well as updates, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you're staying in the loop. Now, first off, we're getting shipment. Thank God, this is gonna be perfect for us grinding camos. The challenges are gonna be getting very easy to get done within shipment. I'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot on the map for you guys right now. I'm also gonna be playing shipment gameplay from Modern Warfare 2019 to compare. Luckily, shipment in Modern Warfare 2 looks like a direct carbon copy which is, in my opinion, a very good thing. Let me know down in the comment section right now. Did you guys enjoy shit within Modern Warfare 2019? Because if you did, it looks like you're enjoying it a lot here in Modern Warfare 2022. It's going to be perfect to get those double kills, long-range kills if you sit in the back of the map and take people out You know when they're spawning in. And obviously, it's going to be a lot easier to get those bloodthirsties, those three kills without dying, all those challenges you need to go ahead and get gold and eventually the Orion camo. Honestly, I think I'm going to get this done within the next couple of days after shipment is released. But again, like I said, let me know down in the comment section if you guys enjoy shipment. And if you think that the model for 2019 version, which is what we're essentially going to be getting this year, actually is going to play well we're also been getting a holiday shipment iteration as well within modern warfare 2 that's gonna be coming out late december on the 21st i'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot of that version of shipment on the screen as well this is essentially going to replace replace the shipment we have or what we're going to be getting when the update does drop on the 14th on the 21st and when obviously the holidays are over it's going to revert back to the modern warfare 2022's slash 19's original shipment if that makes any sense the same thing happened in 2019 it's essentially going to happen here in 2022 so do not fear now within this new i should say holiday shipment vibe there is going to be a mini season going on similar to what we saw within call of duty vanguard now i'm actually going to go ahead and put the screenshot of the battle pass that we did get within vanguard's holiday I should say season event they did drop a roadmap so we're going to be getting even more content and some challenges to complete during this time hopefully they do not bring in nothing like krampus because that was unbelievably annoying to deal with in multiplayer and especially in warzone but honestly i wouldn't pass them they would probably throw in something like that but we can only pray that krampus does not return i'm honestly curious how many of you guys actually ran into krampus during vanguard's holiday update slash event and how many of you guys actually found him annoying because honestly the worst thing that can happen in vanguard and now i i can guarantee if they bring that back in the model for 2022 the worst thing that happened is you being a couple off of a nuke streak and you run into something like that and it gets you killed or it literally kills you so hopefully they don't bring any of those crazy gimmicks in the multiplayer it just will not play well here with the model for 22 i can guarantee you that now also within this reloaded update we are getting a new dlc weapon and potentially a surprise dlc weapon as well the chimera as well as the cali sticks now we saw the cali sticks back in model for 2019 they were a pretty cool dlc weapon those have been thrown around there's been leaked images of that being a part of a new finishing move and obviously if the weapon is within the finishing move most likely it's gonna be coming into the multiplayer so Expect the Cali 6 to drop sometime during the mid-season update for Season 1. Now, obviously, we are going to be getting the Chimera DLC weapon. We knew about this actually before the mid-season update even was teased. We had access to play with the Chimera. I'm going to go ahead and show gameplay of that DLC weapon right now. And you have your Honey Badger available to go ahead and have fun with in the private match section of the firing range. To go ahead and see exactly how this weapon does perform. Now, it has a fast fire rate. The iron sights are pretty clear, but I do wish you were able to technically take off the integrated suppressor. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. The range on this weapon, we're going to try to take this target out back here. The range on this weapon isn't the best, but at the same time, this is going to be an integrated AR that you can use as a submachine gun. 
and it's not really something you could be you know planning on taking enemies out at long range if you guys are unaware what it looks like what it sounds like how it handles it's part of the m13b family so it's gonna probably handle similar to the m13b but be a little bit mobile that's just my assumption and honestly from what i got the feel of when equipping some attachments on it it feels like a pretty damn good assault rifle smg hybrid now also i'm very very happy super happy that the chimera does not i repeat does not have to be unlocked via dmz you do not have to play dmz you do not have to do any challenge in dmz to have access to this multiplayer weapon i think that's something that's super important that they do with all these dlc weapons that they're putting behind challenges if it's something that's going to be in multiplayer for the love of god have the challenge be in multiplayer or have it in the store as a variant luckily we can do a challenge in multiplayer to get it unlocked and we do not have to play any dmz let me know in the comment section right now what you guys think about having to play dmz to get the m13b unlocked in all honesty i mean dmz is cool don't get me wrong i don't hate the mode actually it's a pretty fun mode and a lot of people that i know that really are in the call of duty really do enjoy it and also vice versa i don't think that they should have it locked in there luckily that's not going to be happening here so we can literally jump into multiplayer do a challenge that is not yet been revealed but it's most likely to be something simple like maybe getting double kills or long range kills or ads kills like we saw with the vargo s and vanguard something easy to quickly get this dlc weapon unlocked so you can level it up get it gold get a ryan camo and if you're up for it drop an mgb nuke for it so i'm super happy to go ahead get my hands in the chimera it's most likely gonna be one of the better guns in the game because so far the deal swaps we have here in vanguard are pretty good the m13 is a solid assault rifle the bass p is a solid smg i am on the you know assumption that the chimera is also going to be a solid weapon as well so we can all hope we're also getting some new operators as well we're getting gas he's going to be returning i'm gonna go ahead and show a screenshot of him on the screen right now for you guys a fan favorite operator we all know gaz he's an og man we saw him in the original cod 4 we saw him in model for 2019 we're now having him here in model for 2022 and we're also been getting another operator claws he looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot of him on the screen for you guys to check out let me know which you guys are excited for the chimera is gonna be a bundle within gaz most likely i mean it's in his hands quite literally so I can assume there's going to be some type of operator bundle with the chimera we can go ahead and buy that's going to have a different skin maybe even a tracer pack we can only hope and go ahead and you know have some fun with this new dlc weapon and honestly relive the you know honey badger days back in call of duty ghost that's going to be a majority of the important content coming within the season one reloaded update we are going to be getting raids which if you guys are unaware there's going to be just missions and quests you guys can complete it's technically a continuation of the campaign and obviously we can expect to see some more additional content during the christmas event that we are going to be having later on during the season one reloaded update i'll make a video on that when more information does drop so if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are excited for season one reloaded make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll start those post notifications it's been your boy ears and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuces